Our top story tonight is thousands prepared to say goodbye to former Congressman John Conyers Jr. At his funeral in Detroit tomorrow, those who knew him best celebrated his life tonight. The late congressman passed away a week ago at the age of 90. He was the longest serving African-American congressman in U.S. history and celebrated civil rights icon. Conyers co-founded the Congressional Black Caucus and led to fight to recognize Martin Luther King Jr. Day as an official federal holiday. Dozens of his former staffers gathered at Baker's Keyboard Lounge in Detroit tonight, and that's where 7 Action News reporter Jen Shanza is now live. And Jen, this place holds a, a lot of significance for Conyers' inner circle. Is that right? Yeah, it certainly does, Amira. In addition to all of the things that you two mentioned, to those who knew him best, Congressman Conyers was also quite a jazz buff, and Baker's is a place he frequented. Tonight, a few dozen of his former staff members gathered here to not only celebrate his life, but to share some of their memories. Long time now. The day before the longest serving African American congressman is laid to rest in front of thousands, a smaller celebration with those who worked alongside him for decades. We wanted to make sure that we got together as a staff to honor him. A group of Congressman John Conyers' former staffers met Sunday night at a place close to his heart, Baker's Keyboard Lounge in Detroit. Jazz was number one. And, you know, in the office, he would always have some jazz music on. It was Coltrane, Miles Davis, and Charlie Parker. Whether it was fighting for voter rights or against racial injustice, as a boss, they say Conyers had his own way of doing things. More demanding than people know. <laughs> He really liked talking to people. I mean, he was a giant, but he was also uh, just a man who really believed deeply in public service and the power of the law to fight for justice. When it came to tackling tragedy, they say Conyers was a natural leader, always thinking long term. This former staffer remembering the congressman on 9-11, moments after the two towers fell. Mr. Conyers quickly went to work on trying to put together a town hall meeting or a press conference because his major concern was that uh, people would, would maybe try to racial profile and there would be riots and he wanted to avoid that at all costs. I hope that his legacy uh, is really a model for future leaders to follow. Again, this uh, event uh, tonight, his former staffers flying in from all over the country, mostly the D.C. area. It's just starting to wrap up now, and this is just one day before his formal funeral, which is tomorrow. Live in Detroit, Jen Schantz, 7 Action News.